carry on. Hello people of the internet, welcome back to a screen recorder. Now I'm wondering why we're on Paint 3D. Um, because August 2017 I found out from YouTube this piece, something like this happened. That someone in Someone in Dallas hacked all 156 sirens in Dallas. And trust me, it woke up like exactly 1,200,000 people. 1,218 people and, um, in the Dallas area. And I show you this by now, and I think I know how it happened. Now, I don't recommend doing what this hacker's doing did, so do not do this, but I'm showing you what I think they did. So, uh, sorry for my bad drawings, that I don't, I don't really draw on my computer often, so they might be bad drawings, but no, it's just how it's going to be drawn. So, this is a radio tower. The fire department can set them off. I think. I don't know. Um, I don't know how they work, but um, so for some reason, someone got into 156 of the sirens in Dallas on Friday night in August, which was back. And I'm calling this in December. I should have done this in August, but I didn't know it happened in August. But I didn't know. I didn't see the videos in August, did I? Right. Um, I'm just going to draw. Oh, that's too big. Can I rub it out? What's that? What's that? No! Spray can, no. Let's just um um we have. Uh, can I click that? Yep. Let's draw a... <laughs> this might be horrible, but... You know what, I've got to. No, this doesn't look like... It's too fast. There's no chance I can make it Uh oh. No. And here is a radio control box. They did not use software um, because that's what the city of the that's what the the city manager says. I've put you here. Broad next says he will provide more details. So you can hear the what system is an old system. Uh, we are looking at uh, upgrading and making modifications accordingly. But already he revealed that old system in Dallas and city staff played a role in making the city's 156 sirens vulnerable to attack. The issue uh, was with uh, how we transmitted our information and we worked uh, to close those gaps. Okay, so let's flash forward to Wednesday. Broadneck says he will ask the city council to... There you go. So it was not used by a software because... Well, if it was, then you would know, then he would have known, but he doesn't. So what other cities had to do, like New York and Chicago and everything, they had to test their warning sirens to test 
to see um, if they all work fine and functional. Um, some. We had to um, get some people. They were some people in Dallas who caused a warning system and they did not care okay right um i'm just kidding there was like 1200 people awake it may be more 256 sirens Out of this story, a search is underway for a hacker who caused panic and confusion in Dallas by triggering all of the city's emergency sirens at the same time. All right, we watch this. I, I have actually watched this, but I've not showed it on camera because, well, I did want to look in more, and I thought they would do it, but they don't. Right, let go. The system was hacked just before midnight Friday. All 156 sirens in Dallas blared intermittently for more than an hour and a half. The 911 center was flooded with more than 4,400 calls from concerned residents. The sirens are intended to warn people of incoming severe weather. City officials said the hack originated in the Dallas area, and they are working with the Federal Communications Commission to look for a suspect. So... Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys, it was not done by a computer, okay? I said that before, stop it. It was not by someone who was not, it was not, it was done by someone in Dallas area, in the whole Dallas area. I don't know if it was in the downtown area or something, but it was in like the Texas area. So, um. I just had to, I wanted to share it with you guys because I thought you guys might be interested or a little bit nervous about going to Dallas again. If you guys, um, if you guys will go to like New York, Dallas, Texas or New York, Dallas, Chicago, Washington, you name it. You name it, there'll be some warning systems there in the America there are. Um, well, like Chicago and others, they have um, they have their warning systems, and they are, they are, well, the ones in Dallas and I think Chicago are used for. emergencies. But some sirens in other cities like New York, Washington and stuff, they're used for like attacks and emergencies and alerts. And so, if you guys want to know more about some sirens, go view this video which I published back in like a, a few months ago, which is still on my channel today. There wouldn't be um, any explanations about where they are, what they use for, and, like when they are for. 